I wanted to know how releasing this information might have affected the people of France. We took to the streets. Je vois un ami, vous croyez tout de suite qu'il est il est fou Non, je non, je pense que je pense qu'il doit y avoir des euh, des, des... Des, des, des hallucinations ou certaines choses qui permettent de penser qu'on a vu un ovni alors qu'il n'y en avait pas. Does it make you scared? Yeah. I'm scared too that they're going to come and they're going to be hostile and they're going to try and they're, they're going to hurt us or do something to the world. Do you think governments know more than what they're telling us? Apart from American governments, yeah. Est-ce qu'il est possible que ça peut venir ici? Pourquoi pas? So what do you do? You, do you think that the British government, the MOD, is preparing for any type of disclosure, or do you think it's just going to? How's it going to happen? Or is it going to happen? It's not going to be, as I say, disclosure with a big D. Right. It's going to be disclosure with a small D. In other words, we will be releasing the files. But the in May 2008, uh, the British government began the process of releasing its entire archive of UFO files. From 1991 through to 1994, I was the desk officer responsible for these investigations. And these cases included incidents where reliable witnesses, such as police officers and pilots, reported structured craft performing speeds and maneuvers significantly in excess of anything that they'd seen military jet aircraft perform. In July of 2009, the Ministry of Defense released this document. It's a briefing regarding the mass sighting over England in 1993. In summary, it states, there would seem to be some evidence on this occasion that an unidentified object or objects of unknown origin was operating over the UK. To the skeptics who say there's no evidence, I would say this. Uh, the Ministry of Defense in the United Kingdom has received 10,000 UFO reports since 1950. Uh, not just lights in the sky, but structured craft, sometimes tracked on radar. But don't take my word for it. All this can be viewed at the National Archives on the Ministry of Defense website. So the evidence is uh, right out there. The uh, phenomenon has not changed a great deal. It has not changed materially since 1947. And I'm quite sure that neither we nor the Russians had anything like the capabilities demonstrated by the UFOs in 47. I don't think we have now. Thousands of witnesses now, credible uh, witnesses, which can confirm that indeed they saw uh, activities which cannot uh, be related to uh, terrestrial activities. They're not aerodynamic. They're something else. And the suspicion is that they're anti-gravity or some kind of electromagnetic, gravitic drive to them, which would explain a lot of things that goes on, including the electromagnetic effects on vehicles and so forth. Furthermore, it is not customary for countries to test their secret weapons or secret devices in 133 different countries all over the place and also from a moral standpoint I doubt very much that we would have sent astronauts to the moon using antiquated chemical fuels if we had a way of doing it much more efficiently. If we have then it's criminal that's being kept strictly in military hands because this would solve all of our energy problems in the world. So I, I've given up the whole idea that it could possibly be from uh, any place on Earth. Why don't governments tell the public what's going on? To accept that some object overfly and the country being unable to clear the sky of the... You cannot admit it.
Do you think it's possible that it was from another world? I, my Air Force training says I can't think that way, okay? A story this big, there's no way it can be kept secret from the public. What do you say to someone like that that says that? Well, somebody's kept it pretty secret for quite a while, haven't they? Our country needs to reopen its official investigation that it shut down in 1969. The United States government can no longer shun an international dialogue about this phenomenon, and we invite the government to work in cooperation with countries as represented on both sides of me here today. This position is supported by President Clinton's former chief of staff, John Podesta. Podesta also an advisor to President Obama, spoke at a 2002 press conference organized by the Coalition for Freedom of Information. Uh, I think it's time to open the books uh, on, on uh, questions that have remained in the dark, on the, on the question of, of government investigations of, of UFOs. It's time to find out what, what the truth really is that's out there. Uh, we ought to do it really because it's right. We ought to do it because the American people, quite frankly, can handle the truth, and we ought to do it because it's the law. Bring up these witnesses from the Air Force and the National Aeronautics and Space Agency. Have them interrogated by members of the House or Senate committee. Let them put their records on the line, and let the people who have allegedly seen unidentified flying objects come and testify. There was one last thing I asked Jack Patnay, the man who helped release France's UFO files, what advice he would give to the American government. Bon, j'ai pas de, j'ai pas vraiment de conseil à donner au gouvernement américain. Je pense qu'il est, et, mais bon, je pense que simplement dire que que je pense pas qu'il faut avoir peur de la diffusion de ces informations. Voilà, c'est tout. Mais je veux pas me permettre de donner de conseil au gouvernement américain. Certainement pas. <laughs> El avión procedía a perseguirlo y nos hemos ido alejándonos y en ascenso de la base. I've met with UFO witnesses from around the world, military officers, politicians, and everyday people like you and me. And he says, this target over here. They come forward with nothing to gain and everything to lose because they want answers. All the way across this valley. Not the same old explanations of swamp gas, military flares, weather balloons or misidentified aircraft, but the truth. There's no reason for me uh, not to say what I saw. I had nothing to hide. I have nothing to gain. You know, Maybe somebody involved with the U.S. government knows the origin of these craft, but I don't. All of a sudden, 10 degrees to my right. If they're ours, then somebody has been hiding revolutionary technology for over 50 years. I've never seen anything go so fast in my life as that thing went. Yeah. If any of them are not man-made, then we're not alone.